everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armel with Stock Swoosh reviewing the market here today. A lot of action in the market today. Powell talking again about interest rates. What's funny is he talked about uh, lowering rates at the end of the year. And again, we went from people expecting five rate cuts this year, rate cuts in March. I'm supposed to talk about 2023, then three rate cuts and two rate cuts. Now everyone's excited if we do one rate cut. I mean, it's funny because I didn't even know he was talking to it until this morning. I was on Schwab's network yesterday and said, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they don't cut rates at all this year or if they only do one cut. And it sounds like after today, that's what it's going to be. But the market rallied. The market rallied today. I mean, again, it fell into the close, but I'm probably the only person here that's not extremely, 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 extremely bullish on this market. I think at some point it's going to come to a head that inflation really isn't going down fast enough. Interest rates are going to stay high for a long time. And whatever cuts they do are going to be not that much. And again, so again, we, they're going to eventually start to talk about 2025's expectations. But 2024's expectations are been blown out. So why is the market getting excited about one rate cut? I don't know. I mean, I, I just... You know, again, I think I'm going to just focus on earnings season here going into the next week. But the market had a big rally here this morning. Data, this thing, that thing, the other thing. And uh, I'm, like I said, probably the only person that's not extremely bullish on this market. Of course, I'm not shorting this market here. I'm just not going long it either. And I'm not missing out on anything because it's really not getting any traction. So we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of data out Thursday and a lot of data out Friday. And again, in the unemployment number Friday, and it's definitely going to move the market. So it's a wait and see for me here on this market going into the next month. I think it's going to be a better earnings season for me and what really companies end up saying and how that then affects the overall market. If you have any questions or are interested in the next Golden Gap class, it's in April, but not till the end of the month. You can sign up now, start training with us. You'd have weeks of training with us actually before the class, which you'll get to take an opportunity and advantage of getting the earnings season straight because earnings season starts next week. So the next Golden Gap class is April 27th and 28th. If you're interested in joining, email me at Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.